Welcome back, friends. Today, we're going to dive into a very new feature that Canva has just released in Canva Create Uncharted. Now, if you don't have the new version of Canva user interface yet, all you need to do is click on these envelopes and that will open up the new user interface. I'll bring over a document that I have just started. And this is my template that we are going to be using with the new feature of Canva Sheets plus Bulk Create to create uh, any types of posts in literally minutes. It's truly, truly amazing. Something that I would pay for. Well, I'm currently paying for with Canva Pro. Now it is new and I just want to walk you through how to use bulk create with your template. So I have a template here and we're going to notice a couple of things. I do have an effect on this text. I've got a shadow effect uh, on the text. I've got some text here. Uh, I've got some text here and these text boxes, they're just text placeholders right now. They really um, don't need to be filled with anything special. Same thing with this image and this element here that is slanted. Now this is an, uh, an element that I can change in color, but I'm going to leave it static right now. And here is my image, which I am going to change in 12 different slides. Now you're going to notice that my image here also has a shadow effect on it. And I'm placing this here so that we can see how the ball create reacts to this shadow. And I know what the end result is going to be, but I'm not going to tell you. Um, so how do we bring canvas sheets and bulk create together? Well, you're going to notice a couple of new features with Canva. As I'm clicking my goat here, we're going to notice some colors. So what Canva has done is it has moved the colors that used to be under edit uh, and just that used to be down here in this area. Now they're very quickly accessible from the toolbar, uh, which is a great feature for us, of course. And you're also going to notice that when you come down here to this area here, there is an arrow. And if we click this arrow, what we're going to see is all of Canva's different types of designs in one place, which we can add. This is called Canva Visual Suite. And uh, we can now at this point with the new Canva user interface, actually add different sizes in one design, which is absolutely amazing. So if you click on social media, for example, we can add an Instagram reel and have that in the same design that we are working in. But I don't need an Instagram reel, so I'm just going to delete that and I'll come back here. Let me click the arrow again and we're going to add this one right here. It's called a sheet and that's going to open up a worksheet that looks very similar to, to Excel or Google Sheets and it works pretty much in the same way. Now let's go back to my first page for a second. So here's what I want to change. I want to change the heading. I want to change the body here and I want to change the image on 12 different slides. So if we come back here to our worksheet, I'm going to in the first row just create my headings. So I'll put sign quote, image. And for my first sign, I'm going to enter Capricorn. For my quote, I'm going to enter clicking, climbing, success, one step at a time. And for the image, I'm going to come over to my uploads and I'm going to place an image in this cell. So I'll place this image right in there and it pops right in. I'll move on to the second one. So I'll type Aquarius.
and I'll click on my image. Now I'm going to continue down this worksheet until I am done and I'll be right back. All right, so how do we connect my template with my worksheet? I'm going to close this for a sec and I'm going to highlight everything in my worksheet because this is what I want to work with. I'm going to come up here to this actions button and if I scroll down, I'm going to see an option for bulk create. Now again, bulk create is a pro feature. So I'm going to click bulk create. And because I've already got all of my data selected, it's already in this range. But if it's not, then you can just quickly select it. And then you can continue by selecting the purple continue button. I'm going to select continue. And we're now going to be asked, what template do you want to use to merge your data with? And because I've already got my template in my design, which is page one, I'm going to say this one, the one that's currently open. So I'll click that and that's going to bring me to my first page. So here we are. Here is my first page. Now we're going to notice on our left side that we've got some data fields. And once we select our data fields, each one will light up in a different shade. So here is my heading. And in the heading, I want to be able to show the sign that reflects the image in my design. So I'm clicking the heading and I'm going to come up here to connect data. We can also access connect data from here if we wanted to but I'm going to click it right up there because it's so convenient. And it's going to show us the different text fields that were in our chart. So if I bring in my, my chart, this was my chart and we'll see that my sign Capricorn, that's what I want to go in there. And then I want the quote to go into this body area here. So I'm going to, uh, with the heading selected, I'm going to select sign. And we see here that now that's highlighted purple and it's got a little tab up there saying, okay, it's connected to my sign data. And then over here, I'm gonna go back and I'm going to select the quote. And again, I'm gonna get that quote label highlighted and then I've got this tab that says quote, and here is my image. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to connect data and I'm going to connect that to the image in my data sheet. And so now all three are highlighted and Canva knows where to get the data from. So before we move on, let's go over to advanced options and we're going to have a couple of different options. We can, create 12 individual designs, or we can put everything in one file. And it's also going to ask us where we want to save it. So when we click in here, we're going to get all of our folders. Now I've gone ahead and created one for my bulk socials, but if you don't have one, you now have the opportunity to create a folder of where you want to store your socials that you're bulk creating. I'm going to go ahead and click this one and I'm going to say add the images to this folder. And now if we're creating individual images, it's going to say to you or ask name each design using the original name, data in the sign column or the data in the quote column. Now I'm not going to go ahead and name each design, but this is the option that you have. I'm actually going to just put everything in one design. Once you're happy with all of the options, you can go ahead and come to the bottom and say create design. So I'll click that and we're going to get a message saying one design created and saved to your bulk socials. Do you want to view it in the folder? Now, before I click that or go to my folder, I want you to take note that actually 
Canva has created another column and it's saved a link to each of these designs in that column for quick access. And this is absolutely amazing because imagine you could have each one of your templates and then you can have a worksheet that corresponds with that template. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the designs look like. Okay, so here they are. There's 12 of them right here. And so this is my first one. Now again, just remember this is new technology. So yes, you might need to go back and make a couple of changes. We notice here that uh, this is going all the way to the edge. Uh, if we go to the second one, it's coming uh, into the plant a little bit. But for the most part, I think it's done a great job. What do you think? Do you think that you'll be using Bulk Create with your templates? Let me know down in the comments. Did you like this tutorial? Did you hate it? If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, give me a thumbs down. It doesn't matter. I take all types of engagement. And if you're interested in joining live classes or maybe you're interested uh, in the clip art that I've used, let me know in the comments below. I'll let you know how you can join our live classes and how you can get the clip art. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye bye until next time.